So, okay, I don't really know where to start. So you can see it's still smoking. Everything's been destroyed and I had a big pile of firewood over here. It's, been, it's gone completely. But then you have sticks like this, for example, you can maybe remember this from one of my last winter's videos. I cooked a steak on this and you know, my little fork is gone, everything's gone. It was a temporary shelter anyway, so that's not really what I'm sad about. I am just in shock of this situation because I haven't been here in a week. It's been super cold, it's been raining, the ground has been in the frost in the mornings and as you know I'm always very careful when I do fire and last time I did a fire over here, I've been going this through hundreds of times today. This is my fire pit, my little fire pit and I've only done fire in this pit. It's surrounded by rocks, there's rocks at the bottom and last time, you can see it in my previous video, I cooked a little rainbow trout uh, fillet or anyway, yeah, uh, on a stone over here and the fire died and that was it and everything was fine. So there was no, it is possibility, especially when the ground is dry in the summertime when you got heat waves that if you don't put out your fire properly it might spread you know in the like in the ground level with the haze and everything road systems and stuff so for the past few I don't know four or five hours I've been actually carrying buckets of water over here there's a lake nearby and well nearby I have to go through this marsh <laughs> uh, so I've been doing that uh, with, uh, are they Wellingtons, I think? Rubber boots, uh, with those. Uh, I just took a little break because I'm exhausted. And I, I, I feel that I now got it control. So it was kind of not, there was no fire, but it was like spreading slowly in the ground level. Because everything is burned up, so it heated the area quite a bit. But all the, like if you go, a bit further it's all very damp so the water is super water the ground is super damp and so on but I'm just in shock of what has happened in here because I can't figure it out there must have been some somebody over here the roof was over here like it was leaning uh, to that way and all the material on the roof was dried up spruce branches with those little needles that uh, go brown when they dry and those things catch fire super easily and that is why I've been very careful in the like in the summertime and in this uh, now in the late autumn time over here because I know that they catch fire super easily so I just had a small fire over here the last time too and the idea was to wait until frost and snowfall and then uh, do like a new roof, take those out, burn them up because they I knew they would burn really well and then build a new roof, better roof for it for this next winter uh, because when it gets freezing temperatures the needles stay green in the branches and they stay in the branches during when it gets plus temperatures in summer they fall fall off if you have cut the branch out of the tree so that was my plan but it's not gonna happen right now because everything is destroyed but like I mentioned it was supposed to be a temporary shelter anyway it wasn't something that I you know calculated or really did any any special treatment for it it was very simple but I am just kind of scared of the situation like who was here was it done on purpose should I be worried of what's coming up next? I don't know, I'm just... And I've been, like I mentioned, I've been also going through with the whole, that idea that whether, if it was actually me, like if it was my fault, but the thing is, and this is like God honest truth, uh, I didn't 
like it was a week ago I haven't been here I haven't started a fire here in a week and the fire like I mentioned it was over here and you can actually still see I believe these are the pieces of those those uh, wood that I left over here and it's pretty much intact in the pit and the mystery of the missing firewood so what now well I got a trail camera behind this old field uh, it's highly unlikely that nothing's gonna show up in the in that footage but I'll go and check that out anyway other than that I don't really know what else to do or what else could I do there's no trails anywhere I try to look for any kind of tracks but I couldn't find any. I'm, to be honest, I'm just super lucky that this happened this time of the year and nothing worse happened because I was so scared in the morning for a moment that that fire is gonna like run and caught up the whole, like light up the whole forest and the neighboring forests and everything that shock to find that place in that condition that what it was in in the morning that was kind of horrifying to be honest but thankfully my brains worked and I figured out what I should do next so everything is all right everybody's alive and it wasn't a big loss really and the fire didn't uh, burned down any of the trees. It didn't turn into a forest fire Luckily, it just burned the ground up. So it's not that bad Things could be so much worse right now and right now it's raining too. So there you go I'm disappointed because I was supposed to continue working over there and cook delicious food at that fire pit, but it's now unusable basically because the ground is way too messy you know there's just no way I could work around that I have to wait a few years it for it to recover until I can do really anything over there so that's gone so I don't really know I have <laughs> yeah it's I was planning on working there in the winter time so now it's gone so I don't really know so anyway there, there you go I just wanted to do this video because it's now happening it's a recent thing and if you wonder during the past few I don't know next month next months or weeks why I'm not doing videos anymore from there that's the reason why so there you go thanks for watching hopefully you stick around and watch my other videos too previous and upcoming ones so thanks for watching take care see you soon bye bye